Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Sterling Lede. And I'm Willie Moore. Today is Thursday, April 7th, and we're here with your morning announcements. This week is the last spirit week of the year. Today is blast to the past, so look out for students dressed up like their elementary school selves. And tomorrow is wear pride colors, supporting this day of silence in our LGBTQIA plus community. Can't wait to see you there. If you have four or more tardies to any period after first, you are now on the no activities list and will need to serve a 15 minute lunch intervention. Each intervention you attend will reduce your number of tardies by three. It will be held every Tuesday in Ms. G's room in HK4 and every Thursday in Ms. Aguilar's room in HL6. From 12 to 12.15 for early lunch and from 1.25 to 1.40 for late lunch. Please be aware that you must show up on time for your 15 minutes to be counted. Manga buttons are on sale for $1. Pay at the student store, then pick up your favorite one at the library. We only have a limited number, so get yours now. If you need a new ID card, please bring $5 to the student store, then bring the receipt to the library. Library hours are 7.30 to 3.30 on normal days, and on Wednesdays, the library opens at 8.30. Now, let's pass it on over to Dylan and Josiah for your sports update. What's crackalackin' Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Welcome back to your sports update. In school sports news, our softball team had a tough loss at St. Francis, losing 12-2. Their next game is on Tuesday at Davis. Good luck, ladies. Rip to our boys' baseball team, losing to Franklin 9-2. But they have a chance at redemption today, playing them again. Go get them, boys. In NBA news, the postseason is approaching as teams scramble to find a spot in the playoffs and the play-in. The Lakers took a massive L and didn't make the plan. Hey, Dylan, do you think that LeBron is going to stay or move? To be honest, I feel like LeBron is playing on cruise control. He's mm -hmm. putting up good numbers, but he doesn't have that same drive that he used to. I feel like he's just waiting for Bronny Jr. to become old enough, play a few seasons, and then call it quits. Yeah, LeBron is a great player, but honestly, he needs a new team. He is way good for the. He's way too good for the players on his team. We shall see. But uh, Bulls point guard Lonzo Ball has been ruled out for the remainder of the season due to his torn meniscus. Ben Simmons was supposed to come back for the postseason, but is looking unlikely as he is out for the play-in with back pain. In the MVP race, according to NBA.com, Nikola Jokic is in first place. And no disrespect to him, but that is whack. Joel Embiid is the MVP, no questions asked. I don't know who made this list, but how are they going to put Joel in third? <laughs> yeah, but Jokic is playing, is playing lights out right now. Dude, Joel is the scoring leader, averages the most points per game. That's true. He would be nothing without him. He's the definition of the most valuable player. Mm, I get that. But do not forget about Giannis, though. He's a favorite going in. I guess. We'll see. But the Sixers and Joel are taking it off this week. <laughs> Whatever you say, Dylan. Well, Wolfpack, thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. This week is the Week of Silence, a week meant to honor and acknowledge the struggles of the LGBTQIA people on Friday. Uh, <clears throat> the Day of Silence is where willing students can participate in a vow of silence to recognize the difficulties LGBTQIA people go through in their everyday lives. Our campus, Rainbow Coalition, will be handing out slips for teachers to sign so that they are aware of your participation in the Day of Silence. Participants will meet at 7.50 and take a vow of silence and meet again at 3.20 to break the silence as one. Today at lunch, the Rainbow Coalition will have a trivia booth with candy prizes. And on Friday, pins will be given out to those who design them on Wednesday during lunch. Don't forget to check out the library's LGBTQ plus display. On behalf of the Rainbow Coalition, we hope to see your, you participating with us. Tomorrow during early and late lunch, the March for Our Lives Club will be ho holding an informational booth outside the leadership room to spread awareness over the recent Sacramento mass shooting. There will also be armbands available to wear in solidarity against the gun violence. In 
commemoration of Ramadan, Stu Student Equity Council and Muslim Student Association would like to inform you all about Ramadan, a special period celebrated by many Muslims in the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. This year, the ninth month falls on April 2nd to May 2nd. Room HP2 will be allocated as a safe space for fasting students throughout the celebration. For more information, check out the graphic on screen. Happy Ramadan. Now, let's check out Cooking with the Pack. Welcome back, Wolf Pack. We are cooking lemon cookies today, just in time for spring, and I am joined by... Dylan Brazier. There we go. Uh, so, everybody knows that homemade cookies are best. However, sometimes we just don't have the time. So today, we're gonna do an old cook, I mean an old cooking hack, where we're gonna use cake mix to make these beautiful tender lemon cookies. So, what I have here is a box of generic brand white cake mix. This was 99 cents at the dollar store. We're gonna put it in. The nice part about cake mix is it has all of the things that we need in it. It already has your leavener, it already has all the stuff that you need to make it taste delicious. And with a white cake mix, you can add whatever flavors you want. So, we're gonna add in two eggs, and we're gonna zest up to do some lemons. Now, when we're zesting citrus, and right now citrus is in season. And you can do this with grapefruits, limes, key limes, uh, any of those are great. You wanna make sure that you're just getting the outer rind. So that inside, that white part is called the pit. We do not want that. So here's all my beautiful zest in there. I've got about a third of a cup of oil we're gonna pour into. And then we're gonna add in some lemon juice just to really enhance that lemon flavor. Notice it looks super different than it would if this was like muffins, right, or cupcakes. So we're just gonna pour in a little bit of lemon juice. Now we're gonna scoop and roll in some powdered sugar that we put a little bit of cornstarch in. So, you scoop or you wanna roll? Doesn't matter. Okay. So, we scoop. It goes in the powdered sugar. There's a scooping hand that's always clean. There's a powdered sugar hand that's always gonna be covered in powdered sugar. You just kinda roll it in, give it a good shake and then place it on your lined cookie tray. So if you've ever had chocolate crinkle cut cookies, that's a lot of what we're making today. Uh, except these will be lemon. And if you wanted to make chocolate crinkle cut, then you just, instead of doing a uh, white cake mix, you use chocolate cake. And of course, don't put lemon in it. We know that they're done when they look like they're dry and we touch the top just a little bit and they're nice and firm. Not too firm, we don't want to overcook them. Uh, we take them off the tray once they're cool and put them in this beautiful bowl with a little bit of chamomile flowers. Again, they're dusted with powdered sugar, so that's where we get this beautiful crinkle. But there you go, lemon cake box cookies. Thanks for cooking with the pack. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Sterling Lede. And I'm William Moore. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Burrito, Burrito Day, Day Wolf Pack. pack.